The win was more than just a win tonight because it gets you to a final of a European competition. Uh, so I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled for the players, thrilled for everybody at the club. Uh, I'm really pleased for the owners at the club because they did say that they were going to bring European football back to London Stadium and not only that, they've now, they've now brought, them, brought them a European final. So really pleased for, for all the people at the club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was, but uh, look, I I knew we probably wouldn't have a, a lot of possession, and we've we've not been a side this season who's who's had it as, as much as we'd like. But uh, you know, winning winning games, there's different ways to win football matches, and if it was only football matches were only won one way, then we would be bored. Uh, we won it tonight. We were keeping a clean sheet. That was part of the job. It's part of, of any football club. You've got to try and do that at times. And we've done a really good job at that. We were organised. We had a good defensive structure when we needed it. And I've got to say, you know, I, I've said from probably the minute the draw was made, I thought AZ was a really tough draw. And I think it, it proved to be. They've got, they're a good footballing team. Played in a really good style. Uh, just on the night, we were able just about to keep them out and nick to go. Well, I can't explain what happened or why it happened. I can only tell you there was players involved because their fa it was a family section where most of their family and friends were in. And I think that's why a lot of them were seeing friends of their own family in that area. So uh, uh, that was that was probably the reason for the reaction. And, you know, what we what you I don't want to do is that in any way to blight the night that... Uh, because it certainly wasn't West Ham supporters who were looking for trouble. They were, they were happy to celebrate at the end of the game. So... Uh, over it, no, it's not something that I, I know. So hopefully they, they, they'll look into it and see the reasons why. Were your family in that section? My family were there, yeah, and I had friends in that section, yeah. Were you worried that they were getting caught up in that? Uh, yeah, but I think that the, you're hoping that, you know, they would sort of try and get themselves away from it, you'd hope. But if I'd, if I'd seen, it was uh, a couple of friends were in that area. And uh, I didn't, I didn't recognise it because I was too happy to, uh, you know, going on to the pitch and see the referee and see the other people before we left. And, and the security actually wanted to take me inside, but I had to make sure that the players were not going to get involved in it as well. David, you said earlier, a couple of weeks ago, you know, if you got to this final, it would be the greatest achievement of your managerial career. Is that how you see that re reflecting off such a brilliant night? Uh, yeah, probably. In many ways, I wouldn't... Uh, you know, I think in football, you're always loath to put a title to things, but I think to get to a European final... And let's be fair, last year we got to a semi-final. We came really, really close to getting to a final. So maybe you shouldn't be too surprised. I think we've, I don't know if you get, if I quote the right number or not, but I think we've won 15 and drawn one in this run, something like a 14 and one. Uh, we've got one more to go to see if we can win. You know, so we're, we're thrilled. So you have to say that we've, we've done a really good job in Europe this season and really pleased. And we spoke on Sunday and you said you felt you had a real dilemma perhaps between a Gerd and old Bono. You start with a Gerd and, you know, it, it proved to pay off for you tonight. Yeah, I think that he's a boy who, who's, uh, I said many times, is getting used to the Premier League. And uh, I think he's got lots and lots of attributes, really good attributes. He might just take a bit of time and might be going to be one of the ones that takes a wee bit, bit longer to, to sort of get used to some things. But I thought tonight the game would suit him, you know, and, uh, and I thought he'd done a good job. David, I have a question for you. How much did that semi-final last season affect you going into this season? And do you feel, um, yeah, things have come full circle now yeah. after winning a semi-final? Yeah. I did. We, I talked about it to the players tonight before we left. The disappointment we had in Frankfurt. You know, the, the scenes which we, we all got emotionally caught up. Uh, the scenes outside were incredible. I have to say the Frankfurt support was, was awesome. It really was. So we, 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 were, we just reminded the players a little bit how we felt how we didn't want to feel that way again. I've got to tell you, if we can, some difference in the dressing room tonight it was fantastic, I've got to tell you. Have you ever been in Prague in your life, Mr Moyes? Uh, do you know something? That I, I've been thinking about that, and I think I might have gone to a game, but maybe not. But Thomas Suchek says he's going to look after me. Uh, they're going back home, so uh, I think it's back to the, their stadium, I think. 
So I don't know what the outcome of the other game yet, but I'll. Uh, but hopefully we're looking forward to going now and, uh, you know, great achievement for a, for West Ham Football Club to be in a European final. Would you prefer Fiorentina or Basel? I mean, the game is not finished yet, extra no. time. Does it matter who you, you think face in the final? Time, we? Uh, look, I think when you go to the final now, and you're, you're only going to play good teams. I thought AZ were a very good team. You know, them beating Anderlecht and Lazio gives you an idea of, you know, we might have not played our best in the two games, but we played in a style to what got us over the line and got, got us to the final. David, you mentioned the dressing room there. Can you paint us a picture of what's uh, going on in depth? Raucous would be the biggest word, yeah. You know, who's doing what? Who's uh, saying I, what? I don't really want to give too much away, but no, it was it's great because it's uh, something which is a manager and players you don't get too often in your career. And uh, look, we're enjoying tonight and uh, the players are. And I think the, the supporters as well as well because they, they saw... We saw their club and their team get to a final, which is uh, so important.